This is my demo setup for the electrical class. My goal is to have some old junk TRIs I'm going to gut out and I'm going to keep the input and output terminal strips. I'm going to replace the LED with these LEDs and I'm going to have a couple different stations. So this will be station 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is simulating the input of the TRI for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I pull, I'll go to 2 here, if I pull the inline resistor, the, zone, the, the TRI will go into trouble just like it normally would. We'll just go to a different one here, go to 4, 4 goes into trouble. When I short the TRI, whether it's a pull station, duct, water flow, whatever, you can see, let me click this on here, it's hard to do one-handed. You can see that the alarm, the TRI will go into red, which show an alarm condition, and then the output's going to fire. I'm keeping this super simple for the class, so each station, when you trip the input into alarm, when you short the input, the output will immediately follow. Just for the class, I'm going to have a zone, that right now I'm calling zone 6. When I fire zone 6, <clears throat> and it goes into alarm, all the outputs are going to fire. Now I only have three set up here to demonstrate but they will be multiple stations. I just haven't, I got to get some more parts. So I've got a, a pad three I want to wire up and have them trip. Um, I've got a conventional duct. I've got an old water flow switch. I've got an old pull station. I want them to wire up the inputs and then practice wiring relays to control and drop power to different objects. So this is the initial setup. I'll do another video when I actually have an old TRI wired up.